Aye aye. Much better video. Well, some of you very observant people who watched my um, silage making uh, videos noticed the old marshal behind me. The, well, the new marshal behind me. Uh, um, and it came in a few weeks ago and it's been sat in the yard and I just haven't had time to catch up with the videos. I must admit, sometimes you see videos that are quite current and sometimes I've got a backlog and they just sit on the computer because I haven't got time to edit them and do everything else. So this is one of those classic examples. So what you're going to see now isn't about this new video, new, <laughs> new video, new mug spreader. It's going to be about the old mug spreader which I filmed before this one arrived. Um, so sit back and enjoy watching how, about the story about our old mug spreader. In the meantime, and in the meantime, tune in. I hopefully tomorrow I will get round to doing a video about the new Marshall because it is quite nice to see a new bit of kit on the farm. Um, anyway, that's that's a bit of a that's what they call a teaser, isn't it? I'm not going to show you inside. Is it clean? Is it dirty? I don't know. Tune in tomorrow for the uh, new Marshall mug spreader video. Here's, here's the old Marshall video. Okay, so uh, I've always been nagged by people on YouTube, when, when are you going to buy a new mower, when are you going to buy a new bit of this, bit of that. Um, honestly, on this farm, there isn't masses of surplus money. We really don't have a big pit of cash, and we have issues that we've got to deal with in the next year or so uh, financially. Um, but sometimes we've got to buy things because we just need to, because they're worn out. And we have actually just bought, believe it or not, a new muck spreader. Um, a lot of you might see we do quite a lot of muck spreading in the winter time, well all the time, you know, I've put the load out on the maze recently. Um, the, the, the muck spreader behind us, believe it or not, is 16 years old um, and it's just really coming to the end of its kind of useful life. Well it's not at the end of its useful life, it's still got a viability for someone who's not doing much muck spreading and just needs a cheap uh, thing to just put a bit on every now and then. But for us we need something that is really robust and good and this one is probably coming to the end of the period with us. Well it is, someone else is having it. But um, I thought we'd just take a look. So this is a Marshall muck spreader. I think it's an MS70. There we go. You can just see the end on there, five cubic yards. Now, it's, it's had a hell of a life with us, really. I mean, you're still, still, you're still using it, but um, a few issues going on. Look, we've got a air vents in the roof. Uh, the muck has sat on there for too long and rotted through. Um, but uh, the rest of the chassis is actually quite solid, and the tyres are still very good. Um, but it's taken a lot of use. I replaced the wheel, uh, not the wheel, but I replaced this bearing only a couple of months ago, actually. They're just bolt on. They're fairly easy to change. I'll do a video on that sometime. You just unbolt this, um, whack that out. Sometimes you've got to angle grind this bit off. Um, and it's got some screws. Let me just see, there's a, a little plug there. You've got to do undo an Allen key. And there's another one under there. And that cut that side off. But sometimes the bearings, if you forget to grease them, the bearing will go. Um, so coming on around here, look. The back end's not the back side's not too bad. In fact, this is a brand new tire last year, so I'm a bit gutted really that that's going. Being tight glass farmer, you think, oh, that's, someone's going to get use out of that. But uh, as you, can, as I said, the, the the top has gone really. Uh, you can see the vents in it and the air vent there. But that doesn't mean it's not useful, and someone will still get use out of this. Um, bit of rust here needs sorting out. I think it can easily be plated and like I said, someone who's not using it very much will get good use out of it. So, there we go, that's the old Marshall muck spreader. Um, and we're seeing the new Marshall muck spreader will arrive soon. We've ordered the same model. In fact, some of you might have seen the video where I plated this bit of metal here. I'll just clip on, do show you a clip of that bit. So that was when it was getting a bit thin on the edge. Um, I put a new piece of steel there off a the gate. Um, the new one will have a piece of wood here. They always have a piece of wood. I'm not sure why it's wood. Why didn't just put a little bit of metal? Maybe it's a cheap way of raising the steel up. Um, but the wood came off here a long time ago and didn't get replaced. Um, 
one thing you usually find on old mat spreaders as well, the chains are missing, but the chains are all good on here. Uh, and the bearings are good in there because I have replaced them all. Um, so yeah, so that's the end of, or goodbye to our old muck spreader. Um, as I said, goodbye to our old muck spreader, the old Marshall. These are very good spreaders, you know, if I'm going to do a product review, you know I do sometimes product reviews on bits of kit and stuff. I have no qualms in recommending a Marshall muck spreader. The steel in them is really good, they're really well built machines. Um, I wouldn't bother, I haven't even bothered looking at other ones really to be honest, because once you know you've got a good bit of kit, there's no point in changing to a different one. 16 years old, hell of a beating this has had, and it's still usable now, even though there's rust in it. So, um, there you go. Let's see the new one when it arrives.